You guys, here we go without any further ado. Holy sh! Well, that was crazy. It was so quick, too. So let's call 911. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Daily Driven Exotics. Little update for you. Future Ferrari Tire Slayer Y-Body Kit coming along. And that's right, you saw the title and thumbnail. We have a very, very special, exclusive, the craziest car I think in my opinion Lamborghini's ever made. Finally came to Canada and we're about to go and reveal it. I'm very excited about this, but check this out. You guys have seen the Y-Body Kit, but check it out. We've officially shaved the stock mirrors off, done the proper placement for the Y-Body race mirrors. It completely transforms the car. Crazy. There's a very specific way to mount these, right Damon? Like the right yeah, we right went back spot. and forth. Stock mirrors mounted down here, and the race mirrors have to be mounted right below the line of the body trim right here, or else you get this kind of droopy mirror look, which we do not want. It completely transforms the car. I'm super pumped to get it back on the road. Slaying some tires, you guys, because this car, twin turbo, has a tune. It destroys tires already as it is. I'm sure we could tweak it and get a little bit more out of it. That's it for the update here. We're about to head out of here, jump in Dave's 675 LT, and head downtown and get this reveal underway. This is the weapon of choice today, the 675 LT. How much are you loving this car so far? This is an amazing car, really like it. Compared to the MP412C, everything's just better and lighter and has a lift system. But the fun fact today, the back goes up as well. I didn't know that. The whole car lifts. Eight centimeters in the front, four in the back, something like that. Prove it. Okay. I'm just joking, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> snug for me but thank goodness I've lost 20 pounds recently these are better known as the p1 seats now I know they're in a 6m5 LT but just like in a 765 LT you can get the carbon buckets known as the Senna seats well they get coined that when they're first released out of the hypercar it's a little cheeky we're taking a McLaren to a Lamborghini reveal and I thought it would be kind of funny if we just started bringing the complete opposite brand to the reveal we're going to so if we're going to Lamborghini we're bringing a McLaren if we go to Ferrari we bring a Lamborghini. That's a real douchey move. If we go and get a McLaren, we bring a Ferrari. We're just having fun with this. Dave had a fun little question about the merch. Yes, yeah, speaking of, so I'm wearing an AMG jacket, but I'm not an AMG right now. So my question is, can you wear the merch of the car you're driving? Could I have a McLaren jacket on, or is that douchey? Comment below. I feel like it's too much. I try not to wear the merch of the vehicle I'm driving. Mix it up, a little AMG action. I think you should wear the merch in the car you're wearing. Just don't wear it head to toe. Wear one piece that you like that it's tasteful to go with the brand. I think if you're driving a McLaren and you're wearing an AMG shirt, I think it's that you to people saying, I'm driving my McLaren, but I really also have an AMG at home. So you look like a douchebag more if you actually rock really? opposite merch, 100%. Because now they know you can afford this, and so now they think you're just flexing. You're showing off your AMG that you can't drive at the moment because you're driving your McLaren. Anyhow, we'll be at Lamborghini soon. And then we're all douchebags. <laughs> And we're here, you guys. Lamborghini Vancouver for a brand new exclusive car reveal, which is really cool because, in my opinion, this is the craziest car Lamborghini has ever made for the street to date. Pay for parking so we don't come out and get towed. How much? We negotiate. $20. Oh, I'm in for five bucks. This hey, is so up. sick, dude. So this is a rear wheel drive Evo Coupe. I love this color, the Grigio. This is brand new, yeah. this color for this year. And this was the color that was on the Urus with the orange. Yeah. This is a $25,000 paint option. What? I like that they did this they went lighter gray here and a darker charcoal on the wheel these have steel brakes so we're just gonna move on i think patrick's around the corner he said he said walk around the corner hey, there he is what up man What's hey, you know i love uh me a bugatti and a koenigsegg and well everybody's been telling me if we get another car we need to get one of these you got any of those in there no i got something else though i know you do something real special i'm excited to see this man how do you feel about this new car oh i think this is this this is the last push for the Huracan platform yep. to make something that's gonna be ready for the racetrack and just unstoppable. All right, let's go. Well, I think you guys already know what it is. Patrick gave it away there. <laughs> <laughs> Big surprise. Damn, I like the presentation. This is insane. Holy crap, sectioned it off. I learned the other day, hug yep. this line yep. and bring as tight as you can on this corner, yep. right? Dave got kicked off the track <laughs> for not being able to follow the race line in the last video. If you guys haven't seen that, go and watch it. Now, before we take the cover off of this monster, you guys need to throw us a like on this video. It's smash the subscribe button. There are 67% of the people who view our videos haven't subscribed. It's simple, it's free, it costs you nothing. Take your cursor, click it, subscribe. Thank you, welcome to DD Fam. Are you pumped? Yeah, this is it, dude. This is it. This is the Huracan STO, or Super Trofeo Homologata. 
Well said. I've been practicing all day. I downloaded a whole language thing just to say that word. Why don't we go ahead, not waste any more time. We want to see the insane lines of the STO. You guys, here we go without any further ado. Wow. That's crazy. This is paint. This paint has never been on another Lamborghini before. It's part of a brand new range of Epperson colors from Lamborghini. Beautiful color. Rosso Pyra. Rosso Pyra. That is gorgeous. Now there's so much to take in here, you guys. The very first thing I immediately go to is the insane hood. Again, this is a street legal version of the race car, the Super Trofeo Evo race car. The best part though about this car is guess what they did? Just like the race car. This is not an all wheel drive car. This is a rear wheel drive car with rear wheel steering. I think that's one of the coolest features about this car right here. And because I love my rear wheel drive cars, refuse to own an all wheel drive Lambo. I think they should all be rear wheel drive and Lamborghini knocked it out of the park with this. Horsepower numbers. 640 horse. 640 horsepower rear wheel drive naturally aspirated. Roof scoop, a big question a lot of people have, and I had this too, I already know the answer, I asked Patrick before. Is this a functional roof scoop? How does this work? This doesn't ram air into the air boxes, but it does provide general cooling to the manifold. General cooling. It's kind of funny because a lot of people think that just because the manufacturer produces a roof scoop, that it's like the full blown shoving air into the engine. That's not what this is for. I like the fact Lamborghini did this just purely out of aesthetics, because it's just super Mean looking carbon fiber, as you can see here, and you got this carbon fiber spinal shark fin. This is all nuts, of course, but this wing is something else. When you start to look at this, there's no active arrow on this car. Manually adjustable. This yep. wing can be adjusted about 13 degrees either way. All manual. That's really cool. But this car's producing, you said, 70% more downforce than a Performante. That's significant. What are your thoughts on this so far? This is the craziest Lamborghini I've seen from Lamborghini. It looks like a race car. It's crazy, dude. I think it's really cool because it's street legal and you're getting this entire package under half a million dollars. Depending on how you spec it. Bluetooth? But bit add Bluetooth, Dave's big feature. What is this base? 395 is the Canadian base price. That's not bad at all. Let's talk about some of the coolest things that have changed. So we talked about the hood, race car hood up here in the front. Now this is going to, this actually is functional. So air comes up through the front and out this way. And the coolest feature is with the front end, it is completely changed. There is no lifting of this to get into the front. This now comes forward. You guys, please demonstrate. Holy, so light. oh my gosh. That's Okay, that is, that's nuts. Every time I'll check my windshield wiper fluid at the gas station to flex. Just oh, to one flex. second. That's full. Cool. Well, it's funny. I just filled it up at the last gas station 20 <laughs> minutes ago. Your front space has been limited. Remember, because race car, you guys, that is for your helmet, correct? Or watermelon. Or wa a watermelon. I like that. The watermelon holder. And this is the only source of being able to transport anything in this car, other than if you don't bring a passenger, you can put something in the front seat. Whatever they can fit between their legs. I'm out of space there. I've <laughs> done <laughs> before. Anything like this, even in the older cars? Mira, the Lamborghini Mira, the Mira. whole front open like this? Yeah, the mirror opens. Yeah, I knew that. Dave was on that one. This entire car is made out of carbon fiber. You said, how, what's the percentage? 70% of this car is carbon fiber. 70% is carbon fiber, you guys. Think about that for a second. 70% more downforce than a Performante. 70% of the car is made out of carbon fiber. It's got 640 horsepower to two rear wheels with rear wheel steering. This is a pure race car yeah. for the street. Completely stock. Yeah. Legal. That's crazy. Legal. Legal, yeah. You can drive this in the street. This is a press car. Can we actually start this car in here, Patrick? Oh, I think so. Who wants to hear the brand new Huracan STO fire up? I want to hear this. Cold start? Cold start. Let's do it, you guys. Cold start. This is super sick. Look at the louvered fenders on this car. Now, my real question is, did we f up by not ordering one of these cars? Do we need to go back on our word and buy an STO? I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking we might f up. I'm standing here looking at this thing. It's a work of art. It's everything that screams daily driven exotic. If I take a little more money out of Dave's salary, out of, out, salary, out of his paycheck, we could probably afford this car. Let's do a little montage, show you guys exactly what this car looks like from all the angles, best as I can, because it's a beautiful, beautiful piece of machinery. All 
these intricate details make the Lamborghini SEO the craziest, baddest mother car Lamborghini has ever produced. <laughs> in tune with crazy cars, that's right, Dave and I have partnered with Universal to promote Fast 9. Out June 25th in theaters everywhere. You guys aren't gonna wanna miss this because they've had some of the craziest cars they've ever had on the show. And that's right, John Cena is playing Jacob Toretto, Dom's brother, who's the villain. And he's gonna be revealing some of the latest, greatest cars in the movie. So John, take it away. Everybody from Fast 9, it's your resident car geek here, John Cena, AKA Jacob Toretto, and Fast is full of cars. Some really nice cars, like this. This is a Jaguar XE SV. It's one of 300 produced in the world. This is probably something you've never seen before that has been wrecked. What did we wreck, should you ask? 592 horsepower, 3.3 seconds, zero to 60. Over 200 miles an hour in top speed. Massive brakes, carbon fiber everywhere, custom paint job, extra downforce, and the Jaguar on the side, over $200,000. Welcome to the Fast and Furious universe. Well, it doesn't happen to be a Lamborghini this time. I don't want to personally see them smash an STO. John was saying that there was only like 300 of those cars. Well, 299 now because they've smashed enough in that clip. That's true. They thing right up. Now, interior wise, the seats, Patrick, are the similar seats as to what I have in my Evo? That's right. These are the new sport seats. So this, these are the new sport seats, identical to my Evo. The only difference is these are all wrapped in Alcantara. Mm -hmm. Well, that's cool. These are my favorite seats Lamborghini's They're ever very made. Very comfortable. Like their most comfortable seats they've ever made. Before you start it up things I want to point out check out the detail that they've done here just for the locking mechanism all carbon fiber little pull tab to open the door release still they got to throw it in there even on a race car you still get the Lamborghini puddle lights okay STO in the tricolor as you would a DD logo the Alcantara on the dash I think the Lamborghini took that one out of my page right there yeah they were like oh the DD logo is tricolor we're gonna make the STO logo no problem Lamborghini I got you number one Lamborghini ambassadors yeah, take a little page out of me I mean, this wing and the way that there's this slot right here. I mean, everything about this car, you guys, is a beautiful, beautiful piece of engineering. Switch on the steering wheel, it says STO, yep. Trofeo, and Piogia. Piogia. Yeah. It's different than the regular Huracan. Well, explain that, Patrick. What do we yeah. got going on here? Standard STO setting is more or less like your sport mode. Trofeo is Corsa. And then pierogi. Pierogi. Pierogi, pierogi yeah. is when you get hungry. <laughs> you fire some food in your mouth. Pioja is, is a wet mode. Sorry. Wet? Really? A racing wet I'm mode. I'm in Pioja mode right now. Because it's... <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like the dash. Very similar, a little different than uh, Perfumante. What do we got going on here? He's pressing buttons, Damon. Oh, some new displays. Whoa, some, holy some new data. Is that brake temperature? Yeah. Holy sh**. Cool. So it's a brake temp front and rear. Let's go ahead right now and fire up the brand new STO engine. See what this puppy sounds like. I'm expecting it to sound like the beautiful naturally aspirated Lambo V10. Dave, fire away. Sounds perfect. Sounds really good. Just as I expected. Oh, so that rumble. That's cool. I was playing with the settings. Yeah. So STO is like race mode. Yeah. Trofeo says for dry conditions. Uh, auto starts off obviously for red lights. And this is for dry performance it said. Piogia. I can't say that word. Piogia. But anyways, it would say wet. And it's word. blue to remind you that it's wet. Blue like rain. That's pretty cool, dude. Plus, there is a fire extinguisher right here. Oh, the confidence they have in their cars. This is All really right, cool. So should we get this car? This is a question. We backed out of this car. We were like, everybody's getting this car. It's we one of those things out. where when, when the car's released, you see pictures and you read about it and you know, okay, cool. Then you see it in real life and you experience it and start to learn some little details. Like when you look behind you into the engine, it's very raw looking. There's no panels covering any of the metal work. It feels very race car. And it sound, the exhaust sounds really good. Like that's stock, street legal. You can drive this and you're good to go. And it looks like this. It looks like a heavily modified Huracan. It does. Then imagine twin turboing it. 
or supercharging it. I mean, either or, depending on what you want to do with it. It'd be insane. On the spot. Do you like it enough that you're like, you should buy one of these? In the next 12 months. It's tough. This was the number one car that built daily driven exotics. This is the number one car that everyone still loves to this day. Way over the 458. This was my twin turbo Huracan, supercharged Huracan. Just the whole generational growth of that car was the favorite car ever on daily driven exotics. Yes, you guys like my new 720 GTR, but you haven't seen it really that much or heard it all that much. I haven't driven it all that much. Yeah, the first impressions are, yes, it's a great replacement to my Huracan, but this is nuts. Well, I think the biggest question is, you asked earlier, did we screw up not buying it? Because now the list, we're at the very, very back of the list. The odds when flipping these things either be for a lot of money or they won't, or be a collector car. If you think about the squadra that we recently sold, that had miles on it, but most of them, people kept them at the dealership for years and you couldn't get one. They're all for sale now with a thousand kilometers. Will people actually drive this car? I really hope to see these out being driven and not parts. We'll find out. But maybe we'll buy one. If you have one for sale right now and want to sell for a massive loss, you know who to call. <laughs> <laughs> call us. Talk numbers. Are there any of these available still? I don't know. Do you know. have any? Could you get me one? Right, right now. now. This one. I want one. Can we get this one? This one. How's the one, one in the no. back? Is there one in the back? I heard there is no one in the back. <laughs> what about this one? <laughs> Let's do it for three ninety. No. Ten thousand dollars cash back in a jet ski. No. I saw a little briefcase over there. What can you show me in that? Oh, these are just brand new Lamborghini colors. Want to have a seat? Yes. Can I say yes? Yes. These are all new color ranges. That's crazy. That is Barney's color. Is it? It is. Well, Viola Parsifé. Right. Well said. Out of all of these, what are the newest colors? What oh, color is this? Verde Selvan. Verde Selvan. Verde saliva, that's amazing. <laughs> How do you pronounce the new Grigio, the gray color of the Evo out on the corner that the Urus was in? Oh yeah. The $25,000 option. The Grigio Hati? Hati. That's a sick color. Beautiful. They launched a whole bunch of new colors in the last 12 months. I'm a big fan of this. You've never seen this Jalo Tenerife in person. It is the most vibrant, bright paint version of like a neon and a bright yellow. I really like this. That's what I would go with. This is nice. What is this? Arancio. <laughs> it does, and I can tell you, it does. I like this. You know what this reminds me of? And I hate to keep bringing up other people's paint codes. 720 color. Papaya Sparks? Papaya Sparks. Yeah. High five. Papaya Sparks. It's very Papaya similar Sparks. to this. I like this name better. Yes. Uh, I like it too. The Italians are amazing. I'm torn now, to be honest. I thought I made a really good decision, and it's turning out that I'm kind of regretting it, to be honest. Because to this day, that is my favorite platform for a supercar. On the face of the earth, it's the best bang for the buck. And now that Lamborghini's made it with essentially the craziest body kit, stock from the manufacturer, you can buy this car, do nothing to it, and look like a goddamn DD crazy magician. Nobody can ever mess with you. It looks like a fully kitted after market yes. car. Yeah, it does. Made by Lamborghini. Under here, there's some cool stuff, wasn't there? What's under oh, yeah. here? Oh, yeah. oh, this bar. Patrick's holding out on you guys. Dan Baggins, son of a- Here's the reality, guys. Oh, 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 oh. I want the wheels. Well, this These dinner? are so cool. These are actually older Performante yeah. and yeah. 610 wheels. It's pretty cool. These are nice. That bronze. Mm, Performante. Performante bronze. Got some calipers to throw in there. I'll try out some green with that. What do you think? What do you think? Here, and then you can cover it up. Dave. Hmm? Dave, you can put the orange caliper in and then you could actually put the wheel on. And that's, oh, that's, so, like, right? that's so cool. Back in, oh, that's a nice color. I like green. So you guys, SEO sick. But the question is, is it half a million dollars sick? By the time you add any of the cool pearl colors, or you start adding any of the other little details, it ends up climbing up in price quite fast. Yep. So that's where I was torn last time. I was thinking, let's let a bunch of these over the next 12 months get delivered, let the clients drive them. It'll be too much car for somebody. It always is. When you're driving a race car basically on the street, the suspension's stiff, it's a lot of power, it's a little too aggressive looking for a lot of people. Those will end up on the used market. There's also people that are very rich, they get bored really fast. I buy things and go, oh, I want something new, I want something new, I want something new. They're chasing that first feeling of the first supercar, so that happens a lot as well. Oh, look at that, there it goes again. And it's back. Maybe we wait, or should we buy one now? Let us know. We are on the hunt for cars, always. Dave? 675LT, it has been an interesting couple of days. Been an issue with the door. We sorted that out, it was a low battery. It wouldn't roll the window all the way up. Now he's got a screw in his tire. We got to get this thing fixed, screwing up our plans, no pun intended. Yeah, because the risk now is we could get a flat tire at any moment. Yeah, that would suck. Go bungle go Ray Ray. Is Ray Ray here? Where is he? He went down to Porsche. I don't know what he's up to. Porsche. He went down to Porsche. We have to get the Mercy here. The Mercy is currently waiting for a throttle sensor for the pedal. That's what we're waiting for. That's why I haven't been driving this. Get your piece of shit. The Clarence. You watch your dirty mouth. Yesterday, 
the window wouldn't go up. And then we couldn't open the door. And then we pulled this security thing. And then if you pull this, then the door handle stops working permanently. Then you have to pull a fuse out behind the back yeah, seat. This is not a big deal. Then you couldn't pull the fuse out with your fingers because no. it was too tight. Then you had to borrow a BMW, a fan's yeah. BMW E46. wrench from his E46. Get some pliers in the back. And yep. got that fixed. It's good to go. The thing is, lots of drama last night. Two weird things, but they always fix themselves. Come over here for a second. Can you see this grill? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of what? Why does that come out? Uh, it's a, it's, there's no, no screw in there. There's a screw what missing. What the hell? So I need Martin to go ahead and pop this cover what? off and throw a screw in here. Oh yeah, just just pop it off, Martin. No big deal. No big deal at all. Hey Martin, you're not busy, everybody. I'm glad I got the new McLaren, the 720, this where the they cool actually one. have the, yeah, yeah. Well, Here's this cool. The older one. Okay. I've had no this issues is not a big with mine. Issue. I've had a zero is it's issues. It's one screw. You've never driven your car. I drive it all the time. Martin, will you please punch him in the face? Damon, okay, don't tell him. He's scary. What is that, Damon? That. Don't is the me. power steering pump. Negative. That is the air conditioning pump. Correct. What do I need? Well, I, this, um, I just put, I put a screw in this. It's not easy. You have to remove a whole door panel. No, you don't. Yeah, you do. He's just trying to no, swindle you into hello. not working on Raymond's car. This old Jake. Which will get you in trouble and Dave into more. Okay, first of all, Ray's never going to drive this car. See what he's doing? Not take care of me. I'll go Ray Ray's going to kill you. Thanks, dude. You have to do it yourself. Do it yourself, DIY. Babe. You see, at DDE, we build our own cars. We don't just buy them. That's right. Ray. And build, not bought. We drive them. I'm like, Ray. Don't you guys have so many of these tires that you can just use another set? <laughs> that's, actually uh, that's actually true. What do you think, Dave? Do you think this is all the way through? Let's put money on it. $10,000. $10,000 is not. It should be leaking. Yeah. Nope. Let's see, what is that? I don't see anything. No, it's not leaking at all. That was just in. That was just into the rubber, bro. No leak. That saves us some time. Well, that was sweet. Okay. Ah, let's leave it right there. Wow, Ray sure bought some janky piece of. Sh he always makes fun of my cars, but look at that piece of art, engineered carbon fiber. Like this is Ray's car. I'm better than you, Dave. The six. I'm better than you, Dave. Really, Ray? Holy it's your crap. fire hazard. That is a fire Keep hazard. Keep your house in order, Ray. Look at all the rust. You know, he I'll, does I talk feel a bad. Lot of guy with a. Sh I think he's not doing so good right now. Holy sh! That happened right in front of us. Right in front of us. Well, that was crazy. Damn. It was so quick, too. When I went to the minivan, the silver one, I went over, I pulled the door open. I thought there was a fire because all the smoke from the airbags. Oh, yeah, the, the dust. The cabin. Yeah. I had to peel back the airbags to find the guy. Luckily, he's by himself. He had car seats in the back. There's no kids with him. Someone call 911. Please do it. That was right in front of us. Uh, stopped at the light here, and I saw the two minivans hit each other right, like right in front of us. You can see, like it's crazy. So we got out, make sure everybody was okay. Everyone seems to be okay. There's two people in one van, one on the other. So stay here, make sure everybody's good. Unfortunately, the woman in the red vehicle turned right in front of the guy in the silver van. The rest is history. What's amazing, though, is crumple zones, seatbelts, and airbags, they virtually have no major injuries. Like, holy crap, that was a hard impact. Yeah, we're out. Cops are here now. Well, glad everyone's okay. That was nuts.